Hi everyone, Kremlin here for the Techies. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Havoc Reactor in 3ds Max. So, um, our project is going to be to make these six spheres right here. We're going to want them to roll down the ramp into the blue bowl right here, and then we're going to make the bowl move and drop the spheres into the box over here. So, as you might imagine, if we tried to uh, recreate all these animations by hand, it would first of all be a very tedious process, it would take an enormous amount of time, and it won't look very realistic as we're trying to uh, simulate real world forces. So instead, we're going to use the reactor, um, the Havoc reactor, which can be found under the utilities, and um, right here. So you're going to want to open up the Preview and Animation tab and the Havoc 1 World tab. That'll be very useful. And also you're going to want to have this toolbar up here, the Reactor toolbar. So right click up here and make sure that Reactor is selected and you'll get this toolbar right here. So first thing we need to do is select everything and make sure that the forces of physics apply to it. To make that happen, we're going to press this uh, Create Rigid Body Collection button, and we'll get this symbol right here. We can just move that out of the way now. All right, now the forces of physics apply. Now, to make these drop, the balls in specific, specifically, we're going to select them, and we're going to go to the uh, Property Editor, and we're going to set the mass to 2. All right, that's good there and uh, elasticity maybe 0.2 and let's set friction to 0.5 I think that'd be good and um, that's all we need to do for the spheres now for all the others we want to select them all we want to make sure that uh, they are selected as the concave mesh since all of these objects have indentations in them including the uh, the ramp here, if you take a look at it closely, it's indented right there. Uh, the physics reactor needs to identify that there's an indentation. And uh, that isn't done automatically without selecting that one option. So, um, yeah, let's make sure that that's selected once more. Uh, there we go. And we want to leave the mass at zero since we don't want these to be affected by gravity, we just want them for the collisions with the spheres. And uh, elasticity and friction looks fine. Okay. Now, since uh, we're going to want this uh, blue bowl right here to move, we're going to go ahead and want to uh, select unyielding, meaning that uh, as it's moving, it's not going to be affected by the collisions with the... Uh, uh, with the spheres right here. It's just going to be moving by uh, our own artificial animation. Okay, so um, to see what it looks like right now without any movement of the bowl or anything, you can go over here to the utilities and press preview in window. This will uh, give you a quick preview of what the scene's going to look like when you render it. Um, press P to play, and there you go. These balls drop into the bowl, and there we go. They stay there. They don't fall through, and everything is calculated by the computer. You don't have to do any animation at all, except for the bolt movement, which we're uh, going to do right now. So, uh, uh, to gauge when we want to start moving this bowl, we're going to go ahead and want to um, create animation, which is above the preview and window button, and um, go ahead and press OK. This will take a bit longer, but uh, what this does is it inserts the keyframes for all the animation that you just saw in the preview and window, it puts them into our workspace right here. And uh, as I said, it might take a bit of time, so I'll uh, fast this, this part forward. All right, so uh, it has been completed. Now, if we move this tracker over here, we can see that the balls roll, and then they stop in the bowl right here. So we want to start moving the bowl, say, at about 50 keyframes. So I'll go ahead and press auto key on, set your key. Um, I want to set that at zero just for safety. I like to do that. All right. And now we can start moving this guy up. Let's set it at 100. Move this guy over here. And uh, it's OK that the balls are still right there. Since uh, the reactor is not uh, updated automatically, we'll have to take that into account. 
and uh, okay that looks good and set another keyframe for safety and we'll make this guy tip over into here and let's go ahead and move it a bit further in there we go so there we go the bowl's going to move over here and then dump into the box let's go ahead and uh, create the animation of this and we'll see how it looks all right it is done so let's see how it looks you can see that the balls drop into the bowl the bowl starts moving the balls move move with it and it starts tipping let's get a better angle on that bowl tips and then the balls fall in all right now you might have noticed that uh when the balls were rolling on the ramp you can see that there is actually quite a bit of space in between the spheres and the ramp as you can see right there now that is uh used for uh just safety so that um if the balls if the if the force is too great the spheres will actually end up going through the object and they'll just kind of uh treat it as it's not as if it's not there so to negate that since we don't have any rapidly accelerating objects or anything we're going to go to uh havoc one world and we're going to set the collision tolerance to 0.5 or a small number like that make sure you don't set it too close to zero because then as i mentioned the balls or other objects will fall through each other and you don't want that all right so i'm not going to render this again you get the gist of what i'm saying and um there you go that's pretty much all there is to rigid bodies there's a whole lot whole lot more that you can do with reactor but um this is just the basics and it's a good starting point for uh, anybody that's interested in to do anything more sophisticated with this so uh thank you i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was informative and uh, i'll see you next time this has been Grumman for the techies Get your blueberry muffins at th3techies.com.